Welcome to Chance Biology Online Lecture Room. The topic of this video lecture is general characteristics of bacteria. This is the first part of this video lecture. Introduction to Bacteriology The word bacterium, Greek bacterion, means literal word originally applied by microscopist for rod shaped organism. Anthony von Leeuwenhoek, the Dutch dry goods merchant of Holland, is credited with the discovery of bacteria. Bacteria are single celled microorganisms that lack a nuclear membrane, are metabolically active and divide by binary fission. Bacteria are prokaryotic microscopic organisms and do not contain chlorophyll but in contrast blue-green algae possess chlorophyll. They are unicellular and do not show true branching except in the so-called higher bacteria. Medically, they are a major cause of disease. Superficially, bacteria appear to be relatively simple forms of life. In fact, they are sophisticated and highly adaptable. Many bacteria multiply at rapid rates, and different species can utilize an enormous variety of hydrocarbon substrates including phenol, rubber, and petroleum. These organisms exist widely in both parasitic and free-living forms. Because they are ubiquitous and have a remarkable capacity to adapt to changing environments by selection of spontaneous mutants, the importance of bacteria in Every field of medicine cannot be overstated. All bacteria, both pathogenic and saprophytic, are unicellular organisms that reproduce by binary fusion. Most bacteria are capable of independent metabolic existence and growth, but species of chlamydia and Rickettsia are obligately intracellular organisms. General characters of bacteria. Bacteriology is the branch of botany under which we study the metabolism and reproduction of bacteria. The general characters of bacteria are they are omnipresent present in soil, air, and water. They are unicellular, prokaryotic, or microorganisms. The cell bears a thick, rigid cell wall outside the plasma membrane. Because of this character, they are kept in plant kingdom. They have great variation in the mode of nutrition may be autotrophic and heterotrophic. In heterotropism mode of nutrition, they may be parasite, saprophyte, or symbiotic in nature. They lack to chlorophyll, but few photosynthetic bacteria have a special type of chlorophyll called bacteriochlorophyll. Because of the prokaryotic nature, they lack true nucleus, lacking nuclear membrane and nucleolus. The genetic material is in the form of composite structure known as genophore nucleoid incipient nucleus. The cell wall of bacteria is made up of mucopeptide. Unlike the cell wall of plants, where it is made up of cellulose, they lack mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, plastid, and endoplasmic reticulum. 
dead leg basic protein histone in their DNA. Ribosomes are of 70s type. At some places, the plasma membrane invaginates in folds to form mesosomes. All the enzymes required for respiration are found in the cell membrane. Both DNA and RNA are present in the bacterial cell. DNA is in the form of single circular chromosome. Therefore, the cell is haploid. Vegetative reproduction is generally by binary fission, cyst, budding, and gonidia. Asexual reproduction is by gonidia, motile spores, and endospore. True sexual reproduction is absent in bacteria. But there are examples of genetic recombination which may be of following types conjugation, construction, and transformation. Plant like characteristic in bacteria. Cohen 1872 reported the presence of cell wall in bacteria, which is a character similar to plants. Along with this, the various factors responsible for keeping bacteria in plant kingdom are as follows. The cell wall is made up of cellulose in few bacteria. They show filamentous growth like some plants. Like plant autotrophic bacteria produce carbonic food by the use of of inorganic substances, carbon dioxide and water. Structure and some mode of reproduction of bacteria is similar to some members of Telephyta. They absorb the nutritional substances in the soluble form through their cell wall like plants. Bacteria has the ability to convert inorganic nitrogen into all types of NH2 acids. Most of the transitional forms of bacteria and fungi are found in the nature. Similarities between bacteria and blue green algae. Both groups bear a prokaryotic nucleus. Both are unicellular or colonial and the complicated structures are in filamentous form. Both groups have similar cell wall structure and cell division. Both lack the typical cellular organelles found in eukaryotic cells. Genetic material is DNA without histone proteins. Cells are surrounded by gelatinous sheets. Both have similar cell forms, spherical, cylindrical, and spiral. No zoospores are formed during asexual reproduction in blue-green algae and bacteria. Members of both the groups can withstand desiccation and high temperatures. Light saprophytic bacteria, blue-green algae can live on dead organic matter in the absence of light. Genetic recombination is present in both blue-green algae and bacteria. These similarities between cyanobacteria and bacteria. Cyanobacteria are always afflagellate while most of the bacteria are flagellate. All cyanobacteria are aerobic while many bacteria are anaerobic. All cyanobacteria have chlorophyll A for photosynthesis while bacteria bear bacteria chlorophyll. The source of hydrogen is H2S in bacteria, whereas it is water in cyanobacteria. Distribution of bacteria. Bacteria are ubiquitous, 
omnipresent in their distribution. They are found in all the natural habitats, soil, water and air. They occur in all the situations except in pits of volcanoes, deep strata or rock and rain water, distilled water in deep wells, blood of normal animals. They constitute a major part of the soil microflora and intestine of animals. For example, Escherichia coli in the intestine of human being. Some species have been found in extreme hot springs as well as extreme cold conditions. These are referred to as thermophilic and psychrophilic respectively. They can tolerate and remain alive at a pH lower than one at one end and 13 at another end. Generally one ground soil contains about 1000 to 10 million bacteria. Bacteria also occur in a variety of foods and food products. For example, fruit, vegetables, milk, butter, cheese and milk beverages. Shapes and forms of bacteria. Bacteria cells differ in their shapes, but usually three conventional shapes have been recognized. Initially, the classification of bacteria was based on their shapes, but now it is not used. The various shapes are as follows. Ellipsoida, spherica or cocci. The term cocci has originated from a Greek word kokos means grain or kernel. It is the simplest form of bacteria in which bacteria appears like a minute sphere. 0.5 micron to 1.25 micron in diameter. They lack flagella. On the basis of arrangements, cocci are further classified as follows. Micrococci, when a bacterium appears singly. For example, Micrococcus agatis or Micrococcus aureus. Diplococcus, when they appear in a pairs of cells. Diplococcus pneumoniae. Streptococci, when they appear in rows of cells or in chains. For example, Streptococcus lactis. Staphylococci when they are arranged in irregular clusters like bunches of grapes, for example, Staphylococcus aureus, Tetracoccus, when they are arranged in a sequence of four, for example, Neseria and Micrococcus tetrogenus, Sarsini, when they are arranged in cuboidal or in a different geometrical or packet arrangements, for example, Sarcelli UTR. Rod shaped bacteria are bacillus. The word bacillus originated from Greek word bacilli means rod or stick. Their ends are rounded, flat, or pointed. Their size ranges from 0.5 to 1.2 micron in diameter and 3 to 7 micron in length. They may be flagellated or non-flagellated. Most of the bacteria causing diseases in plants belongs to bacilli category. They may be of following types. Monobacillus, when they arrange singly. Diplobacillus, when they are present in a group of two. Diplobacillus pneumoniae. 
Strepto bacillus when they appear in chains, for example, bacillus tuberculosis. Pelly said, very rarely the bacillus arrange in a palisade, spiral or helical. The origin of word is from Greek word spira means coil. They appear like a corkscrew. A single spiralum has more than one ton of helix. Generally, they are found as free living, unicellular entity. Their size ranges from 10 to 50 micron in length and 0 0.5 to 3 micron in diameter. They are flagellated, for example, spiralum minus and spiralus volutans. Vibrio or coma. The bacteria of this group are like coma or small curved rod. They bear flagella at their end. Their size ranges from 1.5 to 1.7 micron in diameter and up to 10 micron in length. Vibrio cholera. Spirochaeta. These bacteria appear like a corkscrew and Atricus. Their length is more as compared to their diameter. Their body is more flexible. Filamentous. These types of bacteria are generally found in sewage water and the water coming out from sugar industry or effluents of sugar industry. For example, Pyrotilus natalis. Basically, they are rod-shaped bacilli which grow in an elongated chain and are covered by a tubular envelope. Ferrous containing water generally contains filamentous bacteria, for example, Leptothrix, Cladothrix, Nocardia, and Bigiatoa. These bacteria are enveloped by an extracellular structure which encloses the entire cell. This structure is known as prostheca, which is a slightly hard appendage, appendicular structure. Because of the presence of prostheca, they are known as prostheate bacterium. These bacteria are classified in following two groups. A. The bacteria in which prostheci does not take part in reproduction, for example, Colobacter. B. The bacteria where prostheci participate in reproduction, for example, Hypomicrobium. Their stock is about 20 micron in length and are formed in nutrient media rich in phosphate. The basal end of the stalk is either knobbed structure or sticky in nature. Many colobacter cells unit with their lower basal knob arranged like the petals of a rose. Pleomorphic. Many bacteria change their shape and structure with the change in environmental conditions. These bacteria which are found in various forms are known as pleomorphic bacteria, for example, acetobacter. Budding bacteria. These are of football shaped structure with a swollen part and a thin tube. This tube gradually increases in size and its terminal and, and swells up to form new cell which is globular and ultimately a network of cell is formed, for example, rhodomicrobium. Thanks for watching.